Glory be to God. So I just wanted to get on here to say this. Like, it is real. When God says you will reap what you sow, you will reap what you sow. If it's good or bad. When he said touching out his anointed, he mean like, don't touch his, his children. Don't touch anyone who is of the kingdom of God. Like, I don't, I, I guess because people don't believe in God, like they don't respect God. So they, they think others, other people should respect them. But if you don't respect a children, a child of God and respect when they say, do not, when God say, do not touch his child, he mean that. Be careful what you put out in the universe. Be careful what you, how you deal with people. Be careful about how you, how you, treat others because that stuff will come back to you with all, all that negativity, all that evil, all that wickedness that you wished and you pray and you was in there rep praying with repetition prayers and hell marrying this and hell marrying that all that know that everything that you put out, is going to come back to you. So I hope you can take what you sow cause you going to be the one to reap it. OK, not me, not the person you was wishing bad on, but it's going to be you. Stop putting out negativity. Get your life together. I, I, I want you know what? Today, I want to come before you and I want to pray with with you. If you are willing right now to accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, here I am and I'm coming before you. If you are ready to accept him, let's go ahead and accept him today. Heavenly Father, I'm going to ask you that you lead this message, Heavenly Father. I'm going to ask that you, I'm going to ask that you give me the words to say right now in this moment, because you know who needs to hear this and who has been just up in the air about if they, if they are, if they want to serve you or still live in a world, Heavenly Father, just guide my, my words, my, my lips through this prayer. Holy Spirit, have your way. Heavenly Father, we come here today to confess our sins, Heavenly Father. We ask that you forgive us of all our sins, Lord Jesus, that we are sinners and that we have fallen short of your glory, Lord, that we continue to do to, to do things that's against your will, Heavenly Father. We come into you today right now, confessing with our mouth, Lord, that you are Lord and Savior. And Lord, that we ask that you forgive us, Father God, of our sins, Heavenly Father, and come into our hearts, Lord Jesus. Deliver us and help us to go on the right path. Guide us to the right path, Lord, so that we can continue to walk in the upright, Lord Jesus. Father God, I am sorry, Lord God, if I have done anything wrong against your children, Lord God. I come and I ask for forgiveness, Father God, and that I repent of my sins, Lord Jesus. Lord, forgive me of the things that I've done knowingly or unknowingly, Father God. It doesn't matter if I was, if it was in out of ignorance, Lord God, I repent, Jesus. Lord, forgive me of my sins, Father God. I want to turn my life around. I want to come in right standing with you, Lord Jesus. Today, Father God, today, Father God, I surrender my will to yours, Lord Jesus. Lord, I want to turn away from, I want to turn away from the things of the world, Lord God. Father God, I want to take, I want to lay down my will, Father God, and take up the cross and follow you, Jesus. Heavenly Father, if you will just accept me back into your arms, Lord God that you will continue and to guide me in the way that I should go, Lord God. Heavenly Father, I know that I'm not perfect, Father God, but I know that your will is perfect. Let your will be done in my life, your perfect will, Father God. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I pray. Amen. So if you pray that prayer with me, um, just know that it, that's, the, that's the Heavenly Father's grace over your life right now. And... He sent me here to you because he loves you. He does not want to see you suffer and go through the things that you're going through, but he wants you to, 
to turn away from your wicked ways. He wants you to turn to him and turn away from the things that is not of him, that is not godly and surrender your life to him. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to attach the salvation prayer in the description below. If you want to fully turn your life over to Jesus, go ahead and watch that video. Until next time, I love you and stay blessed.